Eagles, sure-handed wide receiver. Always staying busy, he's your league leader in receiving yards. It's the Eagles and the Packers under the lights on Monday night. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They've been cooking these last couple months. Winners of seven of their last eight games. And if you extrapolate that out to a full season, they'd be 14 and 2. And anyone in the NFL today would sign up for that. Meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes that actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. Sports. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. Well, his ratio was good last week. Most quarterbacks are really excited about a three to one ratio, but it's flipped in the wrong direction. <laughs> he threw three interceptions, not touchdown passes and he only had the one TD pass in that game, so he's trying to turn that around and find a way for his team to win. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. If you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, and their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football over time when you do it consistently, usually translates into wins. And they're hoping to do it consistently here. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Play fake. Here's Love. That is incomplete. You look at this Eagle defense. They've been pretty solid against the pass. Toward the middle of the pack, number 14 in the NFL. So prepping for this game, I kept asking myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And too many mistakes, especially little mistakes. And those add up into big mistakes. Big mistakes add up into points against you. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Play action this time with Love. That's taken in by Kraft. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A really nice gain of 25 yards. A nice gain there to his trusty tight end, and now it's got them thinking opening drive touchdown here as they get into the red zone. And in most cases with your tight end, you feel like you've got a mismatch no matter who's covering him. Is it a small cornerback? Is it a linebacker who may not run as well? In any event, whatever you see, you think that tight end can win that battle. Going back to Love. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the four, it's second and a couple. Love looking to throw it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Love from the gun on third down. Escaping the pressure. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Jordan Love with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Packers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Building confidence after a loss, that's a good way to do it. The loss last game, but first drive here in this one, cashing it in for six. Hey, they can talk all they want about putting a loss behind them. I think that drive there did more 
than any conversation they had, don't you think? That's exactly right. Puts that to bed. And this is what they said all week long. A lot of things they needed to do differently. But whatever they said appears to have worked. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Now a play fake here on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A nice throw there by this rookie from Michigan State that results in a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. The Eagles at 8-1 on the year, and they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. So from the 37, here's a second down and four. They'll set up to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 15-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. I'll give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number 8. It's third and 2. Touchdown! A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. We're still in the first quarter, but it's apparent they're going to have to come up with a different defensive game plan for him because right now he's kind of having his way against that defense and has added a touchdown to the list. How do you slow him down? They're going to have to mix up some coverages, maybe change who's guarding him. Elliott good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. So that drive in total eight plays, and it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Packers offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out onto the field. He took it in himself for a touchdown on their opening drive as that leads us to take a look at the NFL's leaders in rushing touchdowns by a quarterback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Working out of the gun. Love. His throw incomplete. Christian Watson, the man he was looking for. And now it's second down. You look at this Eagle defense. They've been pretty solid against the pass. Toward the middle of the pack, number 14 in the NFL. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might see. A lot of short passes, see if they can generate some run after the catch, but nothing doing on that one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Love from the gun. 
That's to the tight end, Musgrave. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. Again, it's Love. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now, this defense for the Eagles very strong in that victory a week ago. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. And he's caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. Here's Love. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down for well, the incompletion. But now we also have an injured player. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek. And we'll take a break. Back. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. These two teams all tied after one. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And that is incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. Now Lutz for the field goal try. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. The kick by Lutz is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And this offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. He had the touchdown pass on the opening drive. As you take a look at the NFL leaders and touchdown passes coming in, and he's right up there among the league's best. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Looking left side, it's complete, he's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll look to throw here on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. Well, that was big right there because they're in the bottom five in the league and converting on third down. They needed that pickup in a big way. There were two things they said they wanted to win in this game. One, the turnover battle, and the second, third down conversions. So they got one there. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, 
Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. The kick by Elliott is good. But Charles, that's something that this league has only seen a little over 20 times in its 100-year history. He comes through with a 60-yard field goal. And I'm just wondering, does he even believe it yet? Has it sunk in? Let's face it. Guys dream about this. They think about it. They practice for it. But for it to actually happen, impressive. What a kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 right at the 30. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big game, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. A very nice job right there, working the middle of the field, able to create some separation, and then utilize it to not just make the catch, but turn up field once he got the ball in his hands. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 31. Throwing, Love, over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Love now. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Second and 10, we're all knotted up at 10, but it appears that may change soon. Only question is, will they have to settle for three? To the air again, Love. His throw caught right around the six. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still second down. Love. Slant around. He's got Dobbs. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Now Love. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Very costly sack there on third and goal. Pushes him back big time. And now you figure the field goal team coming on on fourth. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Eyes the crossing route and hits Watson. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Love, this is third and goal. And it's a Packers touchdown. 
Romeo Dobbs from three yards out. And the Packers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Lutz with the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. A 10-play drive that time. And that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. And the Eagles going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Second and five. He stiff arms him, and he works free. The ball comes out, and the Packers pick it up. On the move past the 40, down the right sideline. And it's a huge return as he brings this all the way back down to the 15-yard line. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just... Now, I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So a P.I. call going to cost him there defensively. What did you see? Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play. But by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Second and three. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now at 17-13. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And that is incomplete. So we reach halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started up at Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati, where it was definitely a game with some entry, as you can see by the scoreline. Joe Burrow, four touchdown passes in the victory. From there, we move to Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City to see what's going on with the Chiefs. And they were winners in their ball game over the visiting Buffalo Bills. Patrick Mahomes leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. 
and they were victorious in that one over the visiting Jacksonville Jaguars. Anthony Richardson, excellent in the victory as his guys pushed their record up to 8-3 and three on the year. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense and their wide receiver getting set for this next possession. And as we play here in the month of November, he's putting together a campaign to remember the NFL's leader amongst wideouts in touchdown receptions. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of score a little bit. So I expect them to come out, continue to throw the ball effectively. They'll look to throw now on first down. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. On play action, they'll throw. Looking right sideline, that's complete. A big play there for Philly. 47 yards. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Second and goal from the one. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And he is going to lose yardage here. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. I think this running game, or should I say lack of one, is making this defense look better than what they really are. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. A great effort there. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Eagles have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Elliott on for the extra point. And that one gives them a three-point lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just saying, you know, heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Love looking to throw it. Who finds his receiver, Watson? 
Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And he'll go down at the 28. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Love, they go play action now. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now to this point. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Play fake. Here's Love. And this is going to be intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And the coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. The Eagles on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. This will wind up a loss on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. You call that an even 50 yards on the punt with seven on the return. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Packers offense and running back Josh Jacobs set to take over once more. And he's had his fair share of troubles in this one, unfortunately. This defensive front has wreaked havoc throughout the contest, and he hasn't been able to create enough space to make something positive happen to this point. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Here's second and ten. Here's Love. That one caught downfield by Watson. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. 
While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 31. Counter play with Jacobs. They follow up that gigantic game with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. They work now on second and nine. To throw now, here's Love. A short throw to Musgrave. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Operating from the gun. Love. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll make it second down. Going back to Love. His pass caught at the four. And the Packers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Shakes off the sand toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Throwing. Love. Flush to it. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. A pause now as they tend to an injured player. And he, yeah, it's the quarterback, Jordan Love. He's shaking up out there. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. They'll run with Jacobs. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. The kick by Lutz is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A great play there. 61 yards. And the Eagles strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. Oh. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game Previous like this, they're going to take a good long look at it. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. 
Elliott good on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. The Eagle Kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. Bennett now to throw. That's complete. He finds Jaden Reed. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A gain of 18 on the play. First down, Green Bay. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Bennett. Quick slant to Watson. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Now Bennett. Throwing left side, it's complete. Touchdown! Romeo Dobbs with his second touchdown of the night. And the Packers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the posts, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good, and we are tied here in the fourth quarter. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. What a way to wrap up the week in the NFL. All tied on this Monday night as the kick is away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. They'll come up first and ten here. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Eagles answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present, making plays, and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Elliott Good with a PAT, and they will take a seven-point lead. 
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And not much happening on the return as they get this to about the 23. So here's Love and the Packers. Down by seven, under a minute 20 to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Back to throw. A throw left sideline for us incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And incomplete on the deep ball. Final minute of play. Here's second and ten. He'll look to throw to Dobbs, and he hauls it in. Well, you don't have to beg the Philly faithful to make noise on their feet for third down. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. Here's first and ten. They'll look to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And now time for one final play that has to be obviously in the end zone. Can't wait to see what they call, but you want to get it to your best player. Sometimes you have to do it by formation. Move everyone to one side. This ball intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And the Eagles are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. But Charles, a heartbreaking way to lose this game. They got into position for that final play, had a decent look toward the end zone, but ultimately picked off, and that's your ball game. Yeah, they gave themselves a great opportunity, didn't they? They'll replay that snap over and over. But sometimes you just have to give credit to the other side. Defense stood up in the final moment and came through with the interception. So for the Eagles, the great run they've been on continues as they move to 9-1 and one now. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, it was a game they really needed as they dropped back to 4-6. and six. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.